Ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. So recently I installed a Sparco Evo seat in the Nissan 350Z. So I ended up doing that right before drift school. It helped out a ton, didn't have to worry about anything. But now I need to worry about how I'm gonna stay more strapped in. Currently I'm using the OEM seat belt that came with the car and it's honestly doing just fine. However, by the title of the thumbnail, I'm sure you know what it is already. The box is pretty large, but it's not very heavy. This is a harness bar from Graffiti Motorsports for the 350Z. But my favorite part about this whole thing is that they give you pool noodles for free. So this looks easy enough. Driver's side, passenger side, two bolts in the front. I like the fact that it had the support in the back. That's kind of why I went with this one. There are ones that are just straight bars straight across, and those are fine, I'm sure. However, extra support, good little gusseting. Anyway, let's pull out the Z. You know what makes me feel bad about turning this thing into a drift missile? This. To be honest, this car is freaking mint. <laughs> it's like, wow, do I really want to rethink doing this? Because I was never going to turn a 350Z into a show car. It's not really my style. But at least now I can get a good vacuum in here. Also, if anyone was wondering, yes, a guy who is 6'2 and 200 pounds fit in the back of a Z. Gotta leave the hatch open, but maybe one day this, this thing ever turns into a real box? Hot tub? That'd be kind of cool. So we had a bunch of hardware at the very beginning of this, and now we're using just two pieces, but I've decided to throw in this piece as well and the seat belt extender retainer thing, whatever the heck they call it. Uh, because I want to keep them. Uh, I don't want to have to be harnessed in every time I drive this car. So, we're going to throw it in there. Now it's time for the most satisfying part of the entire build. No. No, it doesn't fit. Another really nice part of having the harness bar is that we're going to be able to put a GoPro right there. That way we can get better filming while we're driving. So between that and some suction cups and some other things, i um, planning on getting a little helmet clip. So that way the driving content is hopefully more entertaining. 
New day, so we are gonna finish putting the harness in on the driver's side. Currently I have it cooling off because it's about a billion degrees outside. Cooling off, look at that. You know, because the AC doesn't work. That's for a future video. Anyway, we're gonna put the harness in on the driver's side. I'm not gonna put it in the passenger side one in just yet because honestly, I don't really see a need for it. So if there's ever a ride along, which I wouldn't encourage until I get better at driving, I think the stock seat belt's gonna work just fine for that. Let's finish up the driver's side harness. So this is what I had to do in order to get to that part of the seat. Uh, not a big deal, but everything is in the car and attached now, well, except for the seat, which I, I guess is kind of important. Anyway, let's throw that in. All right, the last thing we have to do is pretty up the harnesses, and by that I mean this. Just have this last one to do, and I'm gonna show you what I did, and I don't know if it's right or not, but it looks better than this. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand, and yes, I'm inside the car, but basically, I kind of raveled it up like this, and then just kept, tried to make it as even as possible, and nice and tight, and it kind of does this around the bar that sits like right here where my finger is and just kind of wrapped it up on itself like this and made it really tight and that's what I got. Not the prettiest things ever, but I think they look better than what it did before and I can always redo them. It's just a zip tie. All right, so in the seat, we got them just kind of thrown over the shoulders for now. That way I can still use the OEM seat belt, which is kind of the whole point. Bam, goes in. Good to go. This way, I want to run the harnesses, and it's race car time. Boom, pull these over. These are just kind of laying off to the side. Boom, buckle, cool, cool little piece of plastic that I'm sure will take off here in like three years. And this is kind of how it goes together. So, kind of got one. It's a lot easier when you do it with two hands. Two, like that, buckles up. There you go. But I've already played with this thing a lot and love the positioning of everything. Um, also started mocking up a hydro for the future. Um, yeah, so this is it. So the harness bar went in really, really easy. I'm really happy with that fit up. Um, the only thing is I didn't get it in black. Um, black was backward for like six weeks or something crazy and I wanted to be able to use this at my next uh, track event, which is going to be in three weeks from today. There's a couple other things that I want to get done before my next drift day. So hopefully we can go ahead and get those things done and out of the way. Harnesses feel great. Bought them a long time ago for that Z, um, which is kind of why we're not using one over here is because I want to save one for that. But I'll probably end up having to buy two for that. So who knows? Uh, whatever. Whatever. Anyway, we have a couple more things coming for this car shortly so you can expect episodes here coming out pretty quick plus i've been doing a lot of stuff for the dots and in the background if you can guess what if you can guess what we're about to do next to this car make sure to leave it down below and as always thank you all for tuning in make sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and i will catch you all in the next one peace are just kind of laying off to the side boom that one kind of hit me in the gonads which wasn't fun that one kind of hit me in the gonads